Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to day number 18. We're going to be talking about eradication, and this is task number 24. So let's jump into the video and have some fun and resolve this room today. All right, folks, here we are on the desktop. All right, so today is day number 18. If you guys made it this far, congratulations. Let's have some more fun and see what's going on today, right? So the learning objectives today in this task will be identified in the CPU and memory usage of a process in Linux, kill unwanted processes in Linux, cool, find ways that a process can persist beyond uh, termination, and then remove the persistence processes permanently. All right, cool deal. So we have uh, the connection to the VM. All right, so identifying the process. So let's go ahead and I'm guessing we're gonna have to open up a terminal here. So if you use the term, uh, the, sorry, the, top command, you can see all the processes, the top processes that are running. That's, you know, a very, a very useful command that we use in Linux, right? So as you can see right here, the output of the top command, we can see it right here. So we can just do a control C here so we can kill that. Let's keep coming down or you can hit quit or Q for quit. All right. So now we can see, for an example, sudo kill tw the process 2062, right? So let's go ahead and just kill the, uh, clear this out and just do sudo kill 2062, okay? And then no such process. All right, fair enough. So I'm guessing there's no process of that. No, you can please. All right, so let's go ahead and do to top. Let's do Q for quit. And in our case, our PID is 640, 645, right? So let's do, let's hit the up arrow a few times and do 645. And let's see if we can kill that, okay? So now that's killed, right? So now let's go ahead and just run that again. And we can see 645 is no longer here, okay? So let's go ahead and just do quit right here. And let's do clear and start from the top. So let's continue going down the process here, checking for cron jobs. All right, so we can look at the cron jobs. So we can do cron, ch, cron tab dash L, right? We can see that this is the output that we were supposed to get. And now we can just do sudo su for super user. And let me make this a little bigger. All right, let's clear that out. Now we are logged in as root, right? Who am I? We are root, cool. All right, so now we can do cron, cron tab, cron tab, uh, cron tab dash, oops, I don't want to do that. All right, so now we can see the same kind of output. Cool deal. So now let's just do clear here so we can start from the top. So check for running services. So now we can use the system STL for listing any uh, any services. So let's go ahead and just, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. All right, so let's just copy and paste, copy, and let's bring this to the clipboard here. And let's paste that here. And let's go ahead and just paste that here. I like to do it this way for folks that, you know, that are using a virtual machine or whatever. All right, so, this is gonna list all the services. Since the services we're looking at are mostly enabled on repo in the process, we are, you all right, so we can use that. So let's just do quit here. Let's hit the up arrow and let's go ahead and grep. Let's grep the enabled, okay? So let's go ahead and now we can see all the enabled processes here. All right, cool deal. And now we're gonna go ahead and do system CTL status all right, so let's go ahead and just do that. Let's go ahead and clear this out. And then let's do up arrow. But instead of that, let's go ahead and do a status, okay? And we can see, if you can hit the tab, we can see all, this, all the processes here, right? So let's go ahead and just do quit for now. And let's see. All right, so let's keep going down. The process A, we could have been killed, okay. So getting rid of the service. So now if we want to whack the service, for example, we are already inside of root. So we can stop the, let's just go ahead and copy this. 
Okay. Of course, obviously, like it says, we need to be root because we have to have an elevated uh, user in order to run these commands. So, whoops, crap. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and just copy this. And then let's come back here, paste. And let's go ahead and uh, let's do clear here and then paste this here. All right. So let's go ahead and hit enter. All right. So now we stop that process. Now we can look at the status. All right. So now let's go look at that status. And it doesn't look like there's any status. Probably because it's, it's killed. But I wonder why it's not showing that status. Did I do something wrong here? Redirected. Let's maybe start it. Do top really quick. And is the process gone? Let's check that. Let's go. I don't see the process. So, hmm, okay. So I don't see the process there. Let's go ahead and clear this out. All right, so now we can do system CTL disable redirect. All right, so let's go ahead and paste this there and then paste that here. Hit enter. Uh, global enable. Okay. That's interesting. All right. So let's go ahead and just hit the status up. Let's go up and just type in status here. Okay. I'm not sure why I'm not getting any status. That's really interesting. Hmm. So let's clean it up. I'm not sure what's going on here, though. Uh, unkillable. I'm trying to see if it looks like there's an unkillable exe. Um, let's just continue. I'm just going to continue. See what's, uh, see what's happening here. All right. So let's go ahead and do a cleanup. So let's remove this. I'm just going to continue and see if we get everything to work. Maybe it's just a me problem. And let's see. All right. Let's go ahead and hit remove. And then let's go ahead and type in this next command here and then go ahead and Paste that bad boy here. All right, so now that's good. So now if we do status, it says it's, it doesn't say not found. So I'm, I'm not sure what's what's really happening here. To be quite honest, this is this is a new space for me. But let's uh let's go ahead and see. Uh, let's go ahead and just bring this back in and go ahead and paste this here. And we're going to reload the daemon. All right. So this means we can relax. The CPU run is normal. Come back. All right. So let's go ahead and exit this. All right. So let's see what we're actually working with here. So this means you can relax. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Let me make this a little larger. I don't know why. I've... The CPU usage is normal. And the persistence process is set for the eradicated however you still want to know if there's any planned process that we did we have already taken debt memory dumps okay so what is the name of the service that so that's that unkillable um let me come back up here i think this was unkillable so the unkillable service uh, let me come back up here unkillable I'm just trying to see if it was like that unkillable. That's what it looks like. Q. We're going to have to look through this now. Showing the PC as a D. Q. Top. Dash A. Use the kill to elevate the permissions. I did that. I'm just trying to go through every single thing that we did. Like going over it. Using the code. We can see them being unseen. Blah, blah, blah. Pseudo dash SU. All right, so running the cron service or checking the services, we can see that. I'm just trying to see, get rid of the services. So it's, the process name is A. So it's gonna, oh man, let me go back down for a second. It's this unkillable service, right? So A, let me see something. Let me see something. Um, a unkillable, killable. So it's a dot. So it's a dot service. No. Uh, is it dash? Okay, so it's dash. All right, cool deal. All right, so that, that if you if we hit the hint here, it starts and kill. 
All right, so yeah, when we kill that, all right, got it. All right, so let's go ahead and what is the path from where the process and the service was running? That was the system, right? So if we come back up, yeah, the system right here. So Etsy, Etsy, yeah, ETC, uh, system, CY, system, MD slash, what was it? Uh, system, right? Okay, cool deal. All right, so now, whoa, whoa. <laughs> when is when is the above message shown? Choose when was the above? I've never seen that, to be honest. Uh, randomly, I'm gonna say four because I didn't see it. Oh, cool. All right, so that completes day number eighteen. That was a little confusing. I'm not gonna lie, but we got through it. Hopefully it all makes sense. Just read it a few times. I'm just making these videos to show my process that I'm working through each and every day. So thank you so much for viewing. Until tomorrow, have a good day.